News on 6. This is a severe weather update. Hey, this is Chief Meteorologist Travis Meyer. We have multiple warnings going on right now. We have it uh, in a lapse right here, so you can uh, basically see what's going on with these cells as they're moving to the north and to the east. I want to point out as well the cell that uh, just moved through Tahlequah we mentioned about. That has a, a significant weather advisory associated with it for a heavy thunderstorm in northern Adair County, so we don't want to leave you guys out, but that's not bad. These are bad out to the west, and uh, these storms are capable now of producing some damaging winds. We also have a tornado warning just outside of our viewing area, and so let's go first of all to this particular cell. This is just to the southwest of Okima and southwest of Okfusky County, just on the north side of Seminole. This is wrapped up now, and we do have uh, strong indications that this is a rotating severe thunderstorm and a potential tornado. We do not have confirmation of a tornado on the ground right now. We do have Allen, which is just on the north side at the at this time of the I should say on the south side of the storm moving north. You can see his video right now. So this is the storm that he's running into. And one of the problems is that when you run into these big thunderstorms with lots of rain, it's an issue. Now Val's coming in from the north side and then we have JD who's uh, right here at Okima and then he's going to be watching it. Our swath of uh, severe weather and this is uh, again our shear swath which indicates the storm's been rotating since south of Tecumseh. This is going on up now through around the Seminole area and this warning is in effect, tornado warning specifically until 315 uh, and that is going to be for an area uh, that runs just from the northeast of where Allen is located just southwest of Castle and just south of Bowley. So if you're in the Bowley and Castle areas, that's part of our viewing area. We want you to be advised that that is going to be a potential tornado. Strong damaging winds with that. Even if it isn't a tornado, it could do damage similar to a tornado. So we do want you to be advised for that. That will continue to track to the northeast. Hail cores basically on the kind of the north and west sides of this uh, tornado, tornado track. Uh, so that will be giving us potential for some large hail as well, besides the damaging winds associated with the storm or with the tornado. So those are the conditions we have right now. That will continue to track to the northeast. A little bit further to the north, we uh, also have a storm. And Lacey, in just a minute, I'm going to come back to you with an update uh, on the storm track on that on this particular tornado uh, warning, even though it's not in our viewing area. Uh, I do want to point out just to the north, uh, at this moment, the severe thunderstorm warning now that's been issued. Uh, this will go until 3 o'clock this afternoon for southern portion of Osage County, northwestern Creek County. We have a hail core associated with that. Vaughn is right in the midst of that. And we also also have uh, Tim and Brandon located uh, right on the uh, areas uh, from around Osage and Cleveland areas looking back at this storm. So this is coming up across the area. Hail Swath is really close to where Vaughn's located. Let's go quickly to Vaughn with an update. Vaughn, can you give us an update on that? Sure can. I'm at Highway 99 and Highway 51. Um, I actually, I think that the southern part of this storm is kind of fizzling out. It's kind of made a jump to the north uh, and northeast. So the uh, Hail Swath that came through here was about nickel to dime size hail, but the, the winds were very strong from the west as it moved through, uh, probably up to 60 miles an hour, Travis. So the wind damage could be could be significant with this, but we're going to keep watching it. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Vaughn. I appreciate that. You might be able to pick up that cell that's just to your southwest as well that's still developing. And on the storm that's down south where Val is located, his brother, uh, let's go to uh, Lacey with an update on the storm track of that. Lacey? Yeah, right now, Travis, looking at the storm track, going kind of in a northeasterly direction, a little bit more easterly than north. That's so true. that puts it in Okima by 301, and that would be our viewing area, and that is why JD is in the Okima area. Now, taking it a little bit further out, that would be in Dewar, by 327. Old Mulgee, if it holds together by 332. But I want to point out if this thing turns any more to the right, Walika, you need to be paying attention, maybe even as far to the south as Dustin, be paying attention along Highway 9, Travis, just in case this thing takes more of a right turn. All right, thanks, Lacey. I appreciate it. JD is right in, that, uh, in the midst of that as well. Now he's near Okima. Let's go to JD for a quick update on what he sees from out of that. JD? Yeah, that's right, Travis. I'm in Okima. I'm looking back to my west and uh, just dense gap cloud cover right now. I'm not perceiving any rain or seeing any lightning or anything, but this storm is just still off to my southwest a few miles, so as I approach it, I'll get back with you and let you know what we're seeing, Travis. All right. Thanks, J.D. Greatly appreciate it. So, as you can tell, lots of things going on. The biggest thing right now is the tornado warning that is expected to, uh, most likely, if it continues at the current rate, uh, it is wrapped up. So, I do think that if you're around the Okima area where J.D. is located, we want you guys in Oak Fusky County to be aware of that. We're going to go on Channel 6 here to make sure everybody knows about it. Uh, but needless to say, if you are in the areas just to the southwest of Oak Fusky County, or if you're in Oak Fusky County, this is a very intense storm, potentially 
potential for a tornado, if not a tornado, wind damage and large damaging hail. And that will continue to track to the north and to the east. So just be advised for that. Also, back up, uh, if we could, Stacia, go up to the north. And our storm that's still to the north, we're going to keep our eyes on that one just because even though it has lost some of its identity, as uh, Vaughn had mentioned, he is going to pick up the backside of this. And because it's still individual and by itself, there is a chance as that tracks to the east that we could end up with severe weather uh, going on across Osage County, also Northern Creek County. The hail core is associated with that right now uh, that is located just near Manford. So if you are in these areas, just be advised for that. All right, we're going to leave Facebook for a little bit here again, and we are going to go live on Channel 6. I hope you join us over there as well uh, because we will have the latest updates coming up in just a few seconds. Keep it here. We'll keep you advised, though. From News on 6, this is a severe weather update. Hey, good afternoon. Page County, Northwestern Creek County, which is just to the west of Tulsa. And then we have a, even a stronger storm to the south. But first, uh, we're going to take a look at the tornadic cell. And uh, this cell is now a tornado warning, but it's not in our viewing area, just becoming or is getting very close to being in our viewing area. So this is just moving into an area. We have Val, we have Allen, we have JD all on this particular cell. This has been a tornado warning, and it has, uh, and you can see it highlighted here in the red just outside of Oak Fusky County. But if you're near the Bowley area to Castle areas, we do want you to take cover as well as Okima. We have JD, which is uh, looking right at the storm. Let's go to JD right now for a quick update. What do you have, JD? Yeah, Travis, just off to my west, southwest, just very dark and dense cloud cover. I'm just now starting to get into the rain. Uh, looks like there's a lot of precipitation involved with this uh, cell. And, uh, but I'm not able to make out any, uh, any edge or any lowering or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to sit right here just west of Okima and let this thing come toward us. We'll let you know what we see, Travis. All right. Let's look at velocities if we could. Thanks. Again, I appreciate that, J.D. And, uh, and so the circulation is just south of where Val is located. So J.D. is going to be getting kind of a lot of junk coming in on him, so it's going to be hard for him to see. But uh, there's still the rotating area is located just north east of Seminole, just to the south of Boley. There will be some wind damage potential out of this. Also, hail core associated with this was fairly significant. So there's going to be a hail uh, potential for maybe ping pong ball, golf ball size hail with this, or even larger. And the biggest thing is if this storm continues to track to the north and to the east. Lacey's uh, been tracking that storm and she has some more information for us right now. Lacey, what do you have for us? Yeah, right now on track, I have it just on the circulation of that storm, not the hail core, and that is the part that has turned to the right just a little bit more. So I've taken that track down to the south, right now moving at about 40 miles Links per hour to the east northeast. So on Lynx 3, we have the track of that storm. It'll be in Okima by 303, which is where JD is located. So you've got about 20 minutes, Henrietta by two by 330, and to Omolgi by 339. Travis. Okay, uh, thanks, Lacey. I greatly appreciate that. Also, on the storms, as we uh, track those, you can see uh, it's uh, pretty intense, and there's also a new cell that's moving up to the north of that. But this is expected, again, to stay just south of Tulsa, uh, but we're going to continue to monitor where that one's going. Let's go back to Lynx 1, and we have shower and thunderstorm activity. As we said, with the warning that's to the west of Tulsa, uh, that continues to move to the northeast. We have the cell that's located to the south. Uh, both of these storms are capable of producing large hail, damaging winds, and then, of course, the one that we have down here that Allen Val and JD are on uh, potential for a tornado. Uh, we also have the heavy rain and thunderstorms that are still going on, as I mentioned, across portions of northern Adair County. And because of that, you guys are going to get a lot of lightning, some brief, very heavy downpours of rain. So if you think that's severe, that's not. There's a second wave that will come through later on. And so this whole line, as it moves to the east, there's going to be a pretty good chance that we'll end up with you guys getting another round of strong thunderstorms or severe thunderstorms. So be advised for that. We'll have more information coming up in just a few moments. Keep it here. We'll keep you advised.